Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Eclectables. I am Chris and I am bringing you the brand new WWE Undisputed uh, two, uh, 2016. I've got a little tongue tied because I'm excited about this box. Uh, 2016 trading card box. It's a hobby only exclusive product, 10 hits per box. Uh, we opened one of these last year. It was a really, really fun uh, box break, so I decided, hey, why not? Let's do it again. Uh, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and open this up and see what kind of treasures await us. Go ahead and break the uh, the seal if I can. Might have to reach for some assistance here. Yeah, I think we got it. Just got to get my finger in that uh, small hole there and peel back this outer wrapping. So, very popular product uh, last year. Lots of really cool uh, cards in it. It was filled with a lot of NXT uh, autographs, which at the time weren't so exciting, but with the uh, recent announce of a uh, brand split, you're gonna go see a lot of that talent. If it's not already called up, get called up really, really soon. All right, so here we go. We'll open this box up, kind of take a look at everything. Uh, it's one hit per pack. You can see that right there. Five cards per pack. Um, and it says right here, look for autograph, autograph relics, relic cards, and more. Slight disappointment there uh, that there's not one autograph per pack like last year. Uh, but still, hopefully, some of the autographs are really going to come through and be really exciting. So we'll get our packs out and begin the opening process. All right, we'll just start with this. Lots of different uh, tiered numbered insert sets, or parallels, I should say, in this product. So our first card there is Big Boss Man. And this is a, kind of take a brief look at the uh, cards overall. Thick card stock, kind of more of a matte finish, but the uh, character itself has got a glossy finish, which, there you go, you can kind of see that. Uh, nice write-up on the back. You've got a bio here with an undisputed moment. All right. Dean Ambrose. And a diva card of Lana. And probably our first hit right there. We'll skip that and we'll go to the back. Here we have a gem, the Anvil Nightheart. This is a parallel numbered out of 99. Number 14. We'll put our numbered parallels over there. And for our first hit, it is a Roman Reigns autograph. Numbered out of 299, number 179. And it is on card, so no sticker there. And it looks like the, uh, the Divas card is actually a subset because it is numbered DR. Uh, out of 19. Probably Diva Revolution, I'm guessing, is the subset there. Alright, move on to our next pack. And here we have J.J. Dillon at his Hall of Fame induction. Paul Heyman. And our next card, the awesome Finn Balor. Hope to see him up on Monday or, what is it, Tuesday nights very soon. And we have a Diva card of Emma. And it is a parallel numbered out of 99. And our hit is... Looks like Ryback Relic. And a slight bit of color variation here and here but it is numbered number four out of 99. And this particular one is on a uh, Band-Aid sticker, so that one's not on card. All right, so that is our first autographed relic. Pack number three. And here we have Ryback, that's his base card. X-Pac. Dana Brooke NXT card and here we have a parallel 
It's a blue parallel of George the Animal Steel, numbered out of num or numbered out of 25, number four out of 25. And our hit for the pack is a Big E Langston, numbered out of 99. Mr. Personality. All right, very cool card there. Next up, we have Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Brian Pillman. An NXT card of Billy K. Our parallel is Sergeant Slaughter. And it is numbered out of 99. And our hit for the pack is awesome. A Seth Rollins numbered out of 25. If you can tell, I'm excited about this because I'm so happy to see Seth Rollins come back. Uh, it is on card. So I'm stoked about pulling that. All right. So, so far, a pretty darn good box. Next pack, I believe this puts us to uh, the halfway point. Here we have Rusev, Bob Backlund, and a tag team card. This one featuring the Funks. If it's Terry and Dory. And our parallel is a Chris Jericho that is numbered out of 99, number 49. And our hit is a Natalia Divas Revolution card numbered out of 299. And I've been flipping these over in the back, but basically all of them are going to say uh, more or less congratulations. You've just received a authentic autograph card. Or in the case of Ryback, a congratulations autograph relic card. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. So halfway point. Here we have a Tito Santana, Batista, a Divas Revolution card of Alundra Blaze. Our parallel is of Blake and Murphy. That one's numbered out of 50. That's actually number 50 out of 50. And our hit is a Nia Jax, numbered out of 299. There's the back of that card. Here we have John Cena, base card, the British Bulldog. Oh, this one kind of makes me sad a little bit. Undisputed tag team, The Miz and Damian Mizdow. It was a good act while it lasted. And our parallel is of Aiden English, uh, numbered out of 99, number 44. And... Our hit is a Baron Corbin relic card, uh, numbered, oh, out of 175. I was trying to read that number, and I was like, what number is that? So it's out of 175, and you can tell if this were an autograph ver version, that autograph would be right there. All right, so we should have... One autograph, one autograph relic, and one relic still to come. Unless we get something like really rare. All right, uh, Gold Dust, base card. Ultimate Warrior, base card. Cowboy Bob Orton, base card. Okay, this is a little stuck together. Oh, here we have a Bailey as one of our numbered. Uh, inserts number two out of 25 very nice parallel pull and our hit is a 
autographed relic of Big E. Uh, number 40 out of 50. And again, you can see just a little bit of color variation right there. Uh, but I think, not that I know exactly, but hopefully that is a New Day shirt, which would just add to the collectability for me personally. And there's that Cowboy Bob Orton. All right, two packs left. We have R Truth, Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, a Sami Zayn NXT card, and a J and J Security numbered parallel. That is numbered out of ninety nine. And the hit is a Sin Cara, numbered out of ninety nine. All right, not the worst, not the best, so, and that's Sami Zayn. All right, last pack, uh, just by my calculations, and if everything holds true, this more than likely is going to be a relic. Kevin Owens, Road Dog, a Show Miz, undisputed tag team card. Our numbered parallel is of Big Show. He is uh, number 22 out of 50. And the final relic is a Sin Cara relic out of uh, 175, just like the Baron Corbin. All right, and there's the back of that card. So just kind of a quick recap here. Uh, just not count them exactly, but you can see this is the... Uh, amount of base cards that we pull still a long ways from a set I believe it's a hundred card uh, base set and that's not even including the uh, sub cards over here uh, which would be the uh, undisputed tag teams the NXT and the Divas cards and then as far as numbered parallels go we should have ten of these one per pack one so ten of those uh, best ones were the Bailey numbered out of 25 and the George the Animal Steel numbered out of 25 as far as low number count goes and then we had two relic cards uh, which were the Baron Corbin and Sin Cara two autograph relics which were Big E and Ryback and our autographs we had the Sin Cara the Nia Jax the Natalia, my personal favorite for the box, the Seth Rollins, and a big E, and Roman Reigns. So all in all, pretty decent box. I could imagine uh, there's probably a few better boxes out there, but I'm hoping that there's some worse boxes. Overall, probably not as keen on this product as last year's, just based on the, uh, the two unsigned relics. Um, taking the place of autographed cards because I believe it was uh, 10 uh, autographs or relic autograph relics in the 2015 uh, set but it might be that the uh, autograph quality could be a little bit better I saw a few names that uh, that were new to this product that weren't around last year so maybe that's going to make up for it uh, but all in all pretty nice box all right, folks, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.